Hello, America. I have been married for five years now, and during that time, I have been performing secret psychological studies on my wife to see if I can figure out how the female brain works. During those in-depth studies, I came up with a diagram of the female brain, and this is how it looks. First, I'd like to point you to this very, very tiny gland down here at the bottom of the brain called the what do I want to eat gland. Now, fellas, I know you have often wondered, why can my girlfriend or wife never figure out what or where she wants to eat? And that is because the female what do I want to eat gland is very small. So small, in fact, that it is almost non-existent. Next, you can see the SCJ region of the brain, the shoes, clothes, and jewelry, which is located in the front near the eyeballs. Now, what's interesting about this region of the brain here is that it can send messages to other parts of the brain. Let's just say a man walks into his house with a shiny new necklace for his wife. Well, this region of the brain here is going to send a message all the way across the brain to the very small P-like sex gland. The sex gland will actually grow in size for a very brief moment in time, allowing the male a chance to get frisky with the female. And believe me, it's a very small window. I know. As you can see here, this is the I told you so gland. Anytime a male and female get into an argument and the male is wrong, this gland here will fire off a message and the female will say, I told you so. Now, as we can see here, this is the gossip region of the brain, which is responsible for holding all the juicy gossip and relaying all the juicy gossip. For example, if a woman finds out that her next door neighbor who is married is having an affair with another man, the gossip region of the brain will shoot a message down to the fingers who will then send a text to all of her friends saying that her next door neighbor is a hoe. Now in some females, this area can be very large. I'm talking about taking up almost the whole entire brain. Here we have the headache generator. Now the headache generator can send messages to other parts of the brain as well. If a man were to walk into a bedroom with his wife and he's feeling frisky and the wife sees it, but she ain't feeling frisky, the headache generator will actually start pulsating. This will cause a headache. This will in turn send a message to the sex gland, shutting off the sex gland, causing the female to show no love or affection towards the male, which gives the man all the signs that she don't want to get frisky. But you know how good us men are at reading signs. As I said, this here is the sex gland. What's so interesting about the sex gland is that after marriage, the sex gland seems to shrink and the I told you so gland seems to get larger. Here we have the anniversaries and birthdays region of the brain. It's very large because females seem to be able to remember everybody's anniversary and birthdays that they ever come into contact with. Now here in the back, you can see a very small region called the directions gland. Now this here is the reason that many females have to use a GPS to get to the gas station this five minutes down the road that they've been to multiple times. Now this can be small in males too, because I know plenty of guys that can't get nowhere without a GPS. Now as you can see here, at the base of the brain is a very large gland called the every bad thing my husband has ever done gland. Now this is so large because it holds a lot of information. And of course, the longer the relationship, the more the guy screws up, the bigger this gland gets. And you see, this gland holds all this information so it can be reused at certain times. For example, if my wife was to do something right now to tick me off and I was to tell her about it, her every bad thing my husband has ever done, Glenn, will shoot out a message and say, hey, won't you remind him of that stupid thing he did back in 2012 to make you mad? And last but not least, the ice cream and sweets region of the brain, which is located right at the nose for good reason. If you want a female to forget about every bad thing you've ever done, if you want her to forget about gossiping, you want her to forget about her headache, and you want to increase the size of that sex gland right there, Get her some ice cream or some sweets. Ain't only the way to a female's brain, it's also the way to her heart. I hope y'all have enjoyed my presentation of the female brain. Love y'all.